Salutations, citizens of the internet, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Teslagrad. When we last left off, we uh, beat the first boss of the game, and we are going to jump down here. Now, unfortunately, because of frame rate issues, I had to scrap the first short recording of this, where we acquired a new item, because this game is very forgiving when it comes to kind of save points and whatnot. But basically, there were boots down here that we acquired, and they will now allow us to do another special ability in addition to punching to change the uh, magnetism of objects. We will be able to, it's called blink, and you know, jump across a short field, uh, or jump across a short distance in a short amount of time, obviously. And as you can see, you cannot walk through these bars normally, but you can blink through them very easily. It's kind of like the skill uh, from Dishonored a little bit, although this is obviously 2D. <clears throat> And not really 3D, but it's kind of the same principle. And it's fun. And it basically will now allow us to advance where previously we could not. And as if you remember earlier, there were some gates, or not really gates, but electric fields that we were not able to pass that we should be able to now. And I keep botching this. I remember the first time I played through this, I tried to get through some of these puzzles. They just I just kept botching the jump by just a hair. And I kept having to retry it over and over and over and over again but hopefully you guys won't have to watch me suffer hopefully I don't jinx it although knowing me I probably have all right so this basic they start to obviously combine magnetism puzzles with your standard oh this is a really cool uh, just effect as you're moving through this area it's short but it's just you attract these supposedly I guess magnetic bugs by charging yourself, and it's just a nice, cool little style effect. They have a lot of these kind of things in the game, and I think it's a really nice touch. It makes the game look really cool, and it kind of shows off that, like, you don't necessarily obviously need these, you're just kind of me messing around, but it's just something kind of cool. Up there we have a collectible. You've still probably seen them earlier in videos. They're called batteries, I think, and they basically reveal more of the story. But, uh... I think I got this this one in particular on accident. I think you're supposed to charge yourself, blink through it quickly, and I screwed up there. Yeah, this is one of those puzzles that I had trouble with originally. Ugh. Oh, well, we will press on. And hopefully, I mean, I suppose if this gets too severe... Okay, there we go, made it through. Frame rate, yay. Uh, let's see. I'll try and get that later, but, um... But yes, basically, we will soldier on. I was about to say until I made it through there that if uh, any of these puzzles end up taking a horrifically long time, then I'll probably just jump cut to when I've actually successfully done it. I'll just set that up for, for now. We have successfully squished them. And I realized when I first got this battery that um, this was actually a much... Actually, no, wait, never mind. Hmm... I cannot remember now how exactly, because I got, I got that, uh, the battery back before when I didn't, when I, when it was up, but now it's, it keeps attracting me to the ground, so I'm unable to, ah, I think I see maybe what I could do. Let's get back up here. So I've never actually punched this thing twice before. Huh. That does not attract this thing back up to here. Let's see. I don't know if this is going to do anything, but... No, it just pulls that up with me. Interesting. Okay. Well, I think you're supposed to do that beforehand. Oh, well. We'll move on. I'm not doing a 100% run or anything, so it's not really that critical. But if you want to fill out other pieces of the story, I obviously recommend getting them. They're interesting, and they're just kind of another cool little art style add-on to this game. I see. Just a hair. Just like that. I think I can... No, I can't. I thought I could blink right from the wall, but you do have to jump, so... And it carries you just a little bit further than you kind of think you'll go, so it's it's always tricky. And you kind of think, like, for example, you probably aren't going to be able to make this jump but because you have to blink. And that's true, but it carries you just far enough. You just manage to grab onto the lead. Thank God for the auto-grab features of this, of this game. Otherwise, that would cause a lot more headaches than necessary, but... It does, I suppose, now I'm doing this quite a lot, it is a little bit of a trade-off because of uh, monotony, but... Oh well. What can you do? You can't have it both ways, always, and then... 
that's going to be a kind of a more of a common puzzle as you go on. Is it just you have to blink fast as you're falling to avoid imminent uh, electrocution? Oops, same there. Move past here. Uh, that, that's a simpler battery battery to get if I remember correct. Yeah, you just got to time the blink correctly. That, that took me a few times. See up there, it'll tell you. You hit tab. That's the map, which is is always helpful. But then you can scroll down here and you can see. <clears throat> There's actually quite a lot of these. I think there's like a hundred maybe. I'm not I'm not sure. Actually probably not as many now that I'm looking at it, but Alright, we'll get back to the game. But yeah, I, that first time it took me a while to get that battery because I was not very skilled at using blink, but now I'm a little bit better at it. Climb, climb, climb. Uh typical oh shoot. Uh death what number two now? Three? I don't know. I'm not really keeping count. Oh well. Just blink across here again. Just jump up here. I think I'm gonna do that. Yep. Use that to fall down. Go over. Blink again. All right. Great. Oop. Oh, okay. That thing flung me way too fast. Like I said, the game does kind of typically is uh, forgiving when it comes to uh, respawns after you die. I would have actually expected it to put me here, but I guess not. You'll see that a lot later in the game, but it's just typical. Also, uh, for that main room when you're in, careful, because I've had situations where, like, I've been in other parts of that room. I won't spoil anything, really, but basically, uh, if you fall down and you try and enter another room, if you end up dying somehow, you will, if you haven't reached another uh, spawn point, you will respawn at the, the beginning of that door, or the door you were about to enter, which could be quite a ways away from where you actually want to go, so just a little warning. Alright, great. Now please don't fling us to certain death. Okay, good. Almost certain death, but not quite, not quite. Alright, jump! Okay, phew. See, see what I talk about when the game just kind of narrowly kind of teases you with, oh, you're not gonna make it. You think you're gonna make it, but you're not. Alright, let's fling ourselves up here. Nope, come on, okay. Uh, oh, oh. Gotta jump up here, blink over, that allows us to do that. Simple enough. This is an interesting part of the game because like we're kind of, as you can see, like almost in like the root system of a you know kind of tree. You'll see that later more as we go, but and see if you check, if you check back here, this place look familiar? Yeah, see we couldn't get over here because obviously if we touch this we die, but now we can blink past him. Lickety split. All right, I remember we have to do. I have to go back over here, unfortunately. Climb up the vines. And we have to very quickly touch this, blink across, blink again, and there we go. Blink again. Oh, and this is a, a really interesting area when you actually get to it. You stand here in the center, and then it'll autofocus in, and basically it's kind of like a little play that is part of a lot of the history. It's really cool, it's a really interesting way, I think, to tell the story without obviously using any dialogue. So as you can see, we have a castle out here in the middle of nowhere, <coughs> and would appear to be barbarians. Guys sounding the alarm, smart, smart. Here we have a king of some sort, uh, doesn't appear to be a king, just appears to be maybe a general of some sort. And given it appears to be a chewed on high life stick. Slash maybe, I don't know. Bat. <coughs> Apparently though, it it might is an effective weapon. He conjured lightning. Ben Franklin ain't got nothing on this guy. And he turned the sword into a crown? Okay, whatever. We'll roll with it. And that's all we have for now, so yeah. There are multiple ones of those game of those throughout the game, obviously. That activates something. Here along the ground it looks like, but Yes, no, multiple of those throughout the game. It's very interesting. I like it a lot. It's just it's different, you know. Alright. And then these kind of like physics based puzzles a little bit. You have to run along here, jump across, jump across again, missed completely. Because I was not patient. Patience is a virtue. 
always remember that. Alright, second go at it. Jump. Alright. Blink again. And make it. Okay, good. Another battery. Or whatever they're called. Alright. And if we make our way out here, you'll see we have progressed oops, to another portion of this kind of central room here. An example of what I was, I think I'll, if I can try and tell you is if you end up, if you were to say go down here and then try and go into here and then I somehow died, and instead of spawning me up here like you think it would, it would, they would spawn me almost certainly uh, back down at the bottom. All right, we have another one of these puzzles, except it's kind of like the one we saw in the beginning, except we can actually control it. Hooray! Actually, wait, no, this, I think, is this the same area we've been at? I can't remember. Let's travel up here and we'll see. If it has, I'm going to be a little upset because that means backtracking. Yes, it appears. Yeah. Crap. Sorry, guys. Back we go. Luckily, we can blink, so it makes traveling to redundant places a little bit easier. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, where do we go then? Let's go straight up. Ah, here we go. I think we need to go over here. There we go. One level up. This is one of the more uh, freeform kind of puzzles in the game, and you get to decide kind of how exactly to solve it. It's simple enough. If I can actually... Move. All right, now retract. Sorry, I'm just trying to focus on this so I don't want to accidentally mess up and then you have to walk to the end of the screen. It's not the end of the world, but still. All right. We'll get that. And then, yeah. Just gotta. It's kind of annoying when you actually end up. I probably should have made that blue, but oh well. Live and learn. There we go. Okay, hit that. There we go. That should solve our problems. Yep, there we go. Alright, now we'll just ride this one up. I can actually stand on it. Woo! Oh, come on. Really? You got attracted to that thing all the way over there? Okay. No, you stay. Okay, I'm going to push you over here. To the sides, so we hopefully don't have that trouble again. Wow, you are really heavy for a little thing. Are you a companion cube? Just don't start talking, okay? Ah. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this opportunity to change that to blue, so we don't hopefully have that issue again. All right. Let's go to the skies. All right. Make that blue. Repels it. Hunky dory. I think there's something up there to the right, though, so I'm going to go back here and let's get going. We haven't seen our Russian Santa Claus in a while. I wonder if he misses us. But, okay, right up. Go. Okay. Is there anything over here? Not really. We could progress to the next area, but that doesn't make much sense because we specific... Oh, dang it. I'm a flippin' idiot. Freaking idiot. That's okay. It's okay. It's a simple fix because we came down from the top. Come on, let's just... I just gotta get one of these little measly things. Come on. Why aren't you repelling each other? You're supposed to hate each other. Like housewives. Move! Are you kidding me? There we go. Right, let's turn you blue. Let's turn you blue. No, you stop, stop. <sighs> My rage is growing. I do love this game. I find it great, but like just some of these some puzzles like this, they're just uh, it the uh, yeah. Like it makes me wish like you could drag the blocks instead of just you know uh, having to push them because it would make things. Heck of a lot easier. Okay, now get over there. Get over there. Be attracted to that person. Alright. Punch you. Turn blue. Let me off here. This is my stop. Let's see what's over here. Oh, it's just a battery. It's just a battery, you guys. 
uh, uh, and tick one down in the sanity meter for my own life. I completely forgot about that. I'm such an idiot. It's okay. It's okay. Live and learn. Come on! I also wish you could somehow, like, take the charge off of them just to be able to reset. That would be fantastic. Alright. Come on. No way to gauge how, like, your, the intensity of your jump, really. Alright. Now we can progress across. I guess that's the other like, slight gripe I have with the game is you can see here it's telling us, oh yeah, you have to you have to blink across just just in case you you did you didn't know even though we've already gone through several puzzles that have told us and demonstrated what exactly blink is and the fact that we already have had to use it if or else we wouldn't be here. So yeah, it's it might be a little bit instruction friendly, but that's fine. What are you gonna do? All right, next area here. Oh yeah, this area is fun. This is a common death area I'd imagine for first players. I think, ah, uh, dive there. These electri electrified and magnetized things. A lot of moving objects, so I apologize for the frame rate, but yes, go up there. Now we're gonna, oh, jeez, so fast. I do remember, I think, what you have to do to get through this. There are multiple ways you can actually take, which is kind of nice. I'm not gonna take one of the alternate ways because I think it might result in my untimely death, but it's okay. Blink there. Okay, just gonna stay here now. I'm gonna wait out the cycle because I don't want to die. All right, blink, jump up fast, down. Okay, good, we made it. It's okay, we made it, you guys. And now we get up to another kind of really cool area. Remember all those roots I mentioned earlier? Yeah, that might have something to do with it. It's giant, giant tree. And really quickly, you're gonna. Oh wait, never mind. I need to. Charge that blue. Come over here. Quickly blink. Charge back. I don't think I'm going to make it. No, I did not. Uh. Blink back. Blink twice. Don't blink. Haha. -ha. Plus 10 nerd points to anybody who got that. Ah. Weeping angels ain't got nothing on me. I would wonder if that if this technical blinking, if I'm like closing my eyes, if that would affect them at all. It's interesting, it's an interesting crossover you probably wouldn't consider. Okay, we made it up there. Enough of my Hoovian ramblings. All right, grab this, it's interesting. I don't really know what that has to do with it, if that has to do with anything over there, but it's some sort of like, appears to be grave. You can see it looks to be the king down there crying. So it might be, I don't know, a tomb to their daughter or something? I don't know. She also has an electricity symbol on her chest, so who knows. I bet with her, sparks really flew. Ah! Ah! I'm so sorry. I promise to never do that again. Okay. I'm just gonna blink over to the branch here. I'm sorry I subject you guys to my terrible puns from time to time. Alright. So this is kind of an interesting thing is you see vines over there that I, I climbed up to those on my first playthrough and don't really bother with yourself there's nothing really up there uh that you can get right now when you're dry, when you're uh, blinking or climbing up there so it's just kind of a it's for future reference sort of thing so all right let's blink across here uh, climb across this gigantic tree Oh, look at that. Nice. He's watering it. You watered it too much, I think. It's gigantic. We see another battery up there. Not sure, quite sure how to get that. Oh, I... I hit the space bar. Yeah, look disappointed. I hit the space bar, and... It didn't register, so... Maybe it might it might have been my fault. Why is this thing unactivated? It shouldn't. Shouldn't be. Okay, frame rate issues. Son of a gun. It's okay. Oh, no, I forgot. I need to blink. I need to blink. Now, it was, it's, it's odd because you can't just blink and then blink and then go because then you'll kind of catch this invisible little bump that will make it so you can't do it. So then you have to blink, blink, wait just a second and then jump and then you'll make it. All right. Let's go. Blink across here again. Jump, blink, blink, 
blink. I'm saying blink a lot. Still a great episode of Doctor Who. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. Always interesting that it's considered one of the best episodes of Doctor Who when the Doctor barely appears in it. Again, I'm rambling. Oh well. I go to a nerdy school. I'm allowed to ramble. Alright. Well, we've made it up to the secondary room, and you can see we've got more puzzles ahead of us, so I think I will call it here for now. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, drop a like maybe. Subscribe if you really enjoy my content. And I will see you guys next time. Ta-ta!